Hello, hello, hello. I am going to be doing an August energy reading. I know it's like last minute, but I've been so busy. Um, there's been so much going on. We've got the 88 portal. We've got all sorts of other things happening. We're pulling in all these energies of the Schumann. And let's see what the collective energy reading is for August. If you are interested in getting a reading with me, you can email me, uh, healing disclosures, you YT at Gmail. So it's healing disclosures, YT at gmail.com. You can leave a comment under this video requesting a reading. It is an energy signature reading, which means we are not actually like on Zoom or talking at all. I literally tap into your energy signature and I deliver a very accurate reading bypassing the brain. Yeah, I don't know about you, but there have been readings where I have not even sure, like I, I knew I wanted the reading, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to get out of the reading. I wasn't sure what question to ask or if I could ask. And the, you know, the mind got in the way of the actual benefit of the reading, I felt like. So this was shown to me as a very clear intent way to discern the the true request of the energy signature of the being requiring or requesting the reading. It's very, very accurate. I have lots of testimonials as to the benefits of the readings. And so if you would like one, it's usually three decks for 33 bucks and four decks for 44 bucks. And you get the entire video um, recorded, sent to you. So let me know if you like one. I'll be right back after I get things set up. One minute. Okay, so highest and best good for the August energy reading. We're going to be using Keeper of the Light by Kyle Gray. The Sacred Forest Oracle by Denise Lynn. Beyond Lemuria deck by Izzy Ivy. And the Energy Oracle deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. All of these decks came off of Amazon. You can find them there if you're interested. I'm going to start with the Beyond Lemuria deck. Remove all negative energy from this deck. Call on the angels, the archangels, the ascendant masters, source creator, Mother Sophia, soul emissaries and extensions. Who has the now moment message for energy signature reading of the collective for August 2024, encompassing the 8 8 Lionsgate portal? and all other amazing energies coming in. What is the now moment message for the collective August, 2024? If you're unfamiliar with my readings, I probably do them a little differently uh, than you're from used to. I'm asking in my head, is this the right card, the highest and best card for this reading? My pendulum circles for yes and goes back and forth for no. These are all getting yeses. So these are my four cards. I do four cards per deck. So let's see what we have. Soul star chakra merging with the divine. Soul star is right above your crown, uh, six to 10 inches or so. The soul star helps you connect to your divine spirit team. So this is connecting you to the archangels, to source creator, Mother Sophia, to your spirit team. It does not automatically connect. This is something you have to set your intentions for and be receptive to it. So the energy of the collective right now is got a deep pull to the, the divine, right? Out of the self and into the divine. We want to ask for our soul star chakras to be fully opened and unblocked. Radical expansion. I guarantee you, if you do this with clear intentions, an open heart and receptive attitude, 
you're going to receive radical expansion because all of us have had and continue to have a divine support system that is there with us every single day, waiting for you to recognize them and call them in to assist you. And I, I stress the word assist. They do not lead you. Like they're not going to make decisions for you. You have free will choice and that law of consent and also law of free will choice is going to be honored 100% by the divine. Archangels, angels, spirit guides, guardian angels, ascendant masters, all recognize universal law and they are there to assist you in your radical expansion, right? And expansion is another way of saying ascending. The more soul growth you have, the more expansive your energy is. So step one, <laughs> inviting them in with clear intention, open heart, and, and really truly receiving the information that comes to you and allowing for this radical expansion. It really is a test for the human mind and for the human to push aside the ego because the ego is about this life. The ego is about your actions right now in this life and this life only your ego does not bring in wisdom of past lives or or wisdom of your soul family or any of that your higher self is the wisdom of your cumulative life experiences the negative polarity and the positive polarity and it's the higher self that you want to connect with not the ego the ego is service to self the higher self is service to others sacral chakra core of creation as we are understanding creation on a much different level we're, we're busting through the lies that they've been told to us and we're understanding how we actually came to be on this planet it does tend to upset the foundation of our of our grounding of who we are and where we came from but that is literally as, as complicated or as simple as you want to make it. Understanding that we are all divinely brought to the now moment, to this place in time. By Father, Mother, God, we're created. And that energy essence of our soul brought to the avatar that you're in right now. That is the, that is the grounding you know, of, of our creation. So we want to, we want to reconcile this where you thought you were created. You, you weren't really created in that way, but where you really were created is a positive thing. It's actually more positive than what you've been taught and what you've been told and rooting into that grounding, putting your feet on the ground, putting your head to the sky, letting nature heal this in you is really, really important. It's going to give you a sense of a stronger rooted foundation in the sacral area than what you've probably lived with your whole life. Endless opportunities. And I have to say, once you open and accept your soul star chakra connection to the divine and this radical expansion starts to take place in your life and you feel the rooted truth to your divine origin and that co-creation of life that you actually play a role in your life. You help to decide your soul contract before you ever got here. It's not been random. It's not been a victimhood. It's been because you needed it. There are endless opportunities, endless opportunities. And it truly is a matter of you with allowing the energy to come through making sense of it, using your discernment, free will choice, understanding that you can push your ego aside, not necessarily to live, usually drives you down a path of destruction and connecting to the divine for your guidance. Divinely guided, endless opportunities go hand in hand. Don't limit your opportunities because of an egoic mind or the fear, shame, blame, low vibrational gain that the world that we live in loves to deal us. There's many more opportunities out there for you. Okay, next I'm going to be going with Sacred Forest. For all of the Fey realm, the elven realm, <laughs> this is your deck. 
calling in the angels, the archangels, the ascendant masters, soul extensions and emissaries, guides, the fey realm, the elves, the pixies, mother nature, Gaia, Muna Matea. What is the now moment message that you have for the collective for August 2024? Wizard of the Woods, focus. And this is a depiction of Merlin, Wizard of the Woods, very druid, very magical, very mystical. When we connect to nature, it could be a walk in the woods, but if you don't have woods nearby, you don't have to go that far. You could go to a park, any green space, find the ground, take your shoes and socks off and put your feet on it. Truly connect to nature the wisdom of the woods trees around our planet are all connected they're all connected through the mycelial network trees hold true source light and wisdom and all they ask in return is gratitude for what they offer us they offer us shade protection they offer us the abilities to create and build and they do it willingly, but they have been horribly abused and mistreated. The wisdom of the woods is much more than just the trees, but I'm here to tell you that if you connect with the trees, so much love, wisdom, gratitude, support, guidance can come by way of the elements. We receive messages through the wind blowing through the leaves. We receive downloaded messages that way, the birds, the 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 animals that come to us by way of the trees deliver us messages and guidance. It's really important to connect with nature because that's truly a place of refuge and respite and recharge. It's really, really good for us as a people to remember that we are not created to live within a device, to always have our face implanted in the device and technology we are created of the elements and we have to go back to the elements for grounding and support especially when you're feeling uprooted in your sacral chakra water spirit manifesting your dreams so water as an element is super powerful it's cleansing it's healing it's destructive it's transformative and this is saying manifesting your dreams so when you ask for the element of water to assist you in whatever your dreams may be, do expect for it to come and it may come in a way you never ex expected. But that's the part about manifesting is we put our dreams out there and we give it the emotion of how we feel once we have our dream within us, within our grasp. And then we let that go because we don't control how the universe delivers the dream. The universe has so much more expansive opportunities and how they can co-create with us. Our minds can't keep up. So don't micromanage the universe. Let the universe deliver to you. Wolf spirit of family. Now, I know that there's a lot of turmoil in many families right now because we were all raised to think that your blood family is the only family you have, okay? And it's just simply not true. When you really understand that we come into the avatar, our body, because of consent, the energy essence of our soul being chooses an avatar. And by choosing that avatar, you're choosing your parents. You're choosing your family in that way. It's also not a guarantee that you're going to be surrounded by family members that have a soul. I was surrounded by family members that did not have a soul. I was surrounded by family members that had souls that were not aligned to source. They were aligned to darkness. These are all parts and components of my own soul contract, which I determined before I got here. 
as an ability to check off all the boxes that I needed of my soul growth so that I could have the radical expansion I needed to bring me to this now moment, to the understanding that I needed to be in this now moment. So redefining and understanding true family, it may not be the family that you were born into, but the family that you gravitate to because we are attracted by frequency. We are attracted by our energy. And that is our true family, that soul family connection. That is what really brings us together and keeps us together in that wolf spirit. And then you are a powerful pack together that you can traverse your endless opportunities as one. Stag spirit of leadership. There always has to have a leader, right? There are leaders and then there are followers. And we don't get very far without both of them. Okay. The world doesn't need more leaders like we've had. Okay. And the world doesn't need more followers of the leaders that we've had. What the world needs right now are true leadership that is connected to the divine from their soul star chakra, allowing for radical expansion in their souls, rooted to the earth enjoying the endless opportunities, getting transformative energy from the woods, from the water and their soul family so that they are the leader they always deserved. Be the leader you deserve. That's what you're being called to do. Stop waiting for another being to help you. No one's going to come save you. You save yourself. Be the stag spirit of leadership that you want you want the change, be the change. You want strength, be strong. No one saves us, we save ourselves. And saving ourselves, we save each other because the frequency spreads outward from that way. Now I'm going to go to Keepers of the Lights. Remove all negative energy from this deck. Call in the angels, the archangels, the ascendant masters, source creator, Mother Sophia. Please give us in this now moment the highest and best good message for the collective for August 2024 energy. What is the message for the collective? I'm on a roll today. Usually I already have had some that are, oh, not for this reading, not for this reading. We're doing good. We're doing good. Kali Ma, facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding and this is your chance to soar. Kali Ma, as an ascendant master, teaches us to stand in your sovereignty and reclaim your power. Those that doubted her power she wore their skeleton. She wore their their um, skulls on a necklace around her neck because she did not stand for that. She existed in a time where <clears throat> it was life or death. Now, stakes weren't quite so high for us these days. However, I do implore you to really think about what you have been taught about religion is not spirituality. Our world is in a spiritual evolution. This is not biblical because a lot, and I say 90% because source told me 90% of the Bible are man-made edits. They are not translations because of language barriers. They are edits. They have added to and taken away from the true teachings of Yeshua. Spiritual awakening is what is we are called to do. It is that spiritual awakening that is causing this sacral shakeup because your foundation is being shaken. Well, what's happening when you shake a pan? Like whenever you're shaking the dust off something, right? The dust settles to truth, to an actual foundation that is serving up truth. So, 
the more you recognize your truth, the more you recognize the truth of humanity, the more you recognize the truth of our souls, the more you allow the truth of who and what we are and how we came to be to take hold and root in our being. Facing the fear, false evidence appearing real, fear has been projected onto us. You know, fear of communicating with transitioned beings, fear of standing up to a priest or a religion, fear of saying, this does not make sense for me. Face the fear to realize your dreams and your destiny. True spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. If you have felt that the church, the Bible, the book, the doctrine, the in, the indoctrination has kept you from who you truly are, you're 100% correct because that is their whole mission to keep you out of your power and to keep you looking outside of yourself for guidance. When the truth is we activate our soul star chakra to connect to the divine so that we can have our radical expansion so that we can have divine guidance that comes from within. And the guides that assist us are divinely guided from source creator, from our guardian angels, from the archangels, not from men in a pulpit. So understanding that changes are happening you definitely want to use discernment but there are ways to go about it where it's not really self-destructive it is self-enlightenment sir nunos life force express your driving passion sensual and sexual powers are increased now very similar in leadership and the imagery of connecting to your stag spirit right Stag has a, a connotation of a prolific man, right? That, that testosterone power, that divine masculine. In all of us, we have divine masculine, divine feminine, and inner child. They are to be balanced. One is not to be more strong than the other. That's where the beauty of, of that balanced relationship comes into play. When we embrace the sensual and sexual powers through our passion for life there is absolutely nothing to fear or be shameful about okay now we're not talking about like random sex acts i'm not talking about that i'm talking about true spirituality connecting to the souls that you're meant to be with your twin flames your divine souls and until you do you work on your own soul to grow into the balanced divine feminine, divine masculine, healed inner child. So you are the best version of yourself for when that time comes. The other stuff that's out there right now is literally pulling people into darkness. And it's a lot of people that actually don't have souls that are driving that force because they want more of that. They want more energy. They're trying to get those with souls to cave. And just completely give up all of their spiritual guidance. And I implore you not to do that. Within all of us is a birthright to develop our divine feminine, divine masculine, and inner child in a way that is loving, kind, compassionate, but also passionate. Because we seed our planets. We are to have children together. We are to make our planet successful in a populous way. Now, there's more than one way to do that. I understand that. But the the world that we live in right now has kind of gone off the rails where people don't even know how to define women or man or gender. I, I, I don't subscribe to that really. I think that deep down each being knows truly who they are. I have female parts and... I was born with a divine feminine soul who experienced an immense amount of trauma. And by 21 years old, a divine masculine soul walked in a prior life of mine, walked in to basically help me live so that I didn't give up on life. And that soul was with me for 30 years as a divine masculine soul. Did my body change? No, it did not. I stayed female. 
but I had the spirit, the energy body leading me. That was divine masculine because that's what I needed. That's what I needed help with. I was left alone. I was widowed and I had to traverse life on my own. I needed that assistance. Once I did my shadow work and I did my healing and I understood a lot of this that I'm describing to you right now today, then I was able to balance my divine feminine, divine masculine, and then heal the inner child. So that is where I come to you now. None of that would have been possible had I not traversed that those traumas. Okay. But there is always balance that is to be gleaned from your three innate inside energies, divine feminine, divine masculine, and healed inner child. Bridget, inner strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have power. One of my past lives, Bridget. The inner power is what truly makes the controllers fearful that's why they they work so damn hard to keep us from our truth because within all of us we have talents we have skills we have abilities and we have power and that power is to walk our own path it may be with a soul family it may not it may look like what other people are doing and it may not but it may be Honoring your soul contract and your sovereignty. And that is where your power is. That is where you truly lighten up and in line to the divine. That's why they want to keep you small. The Shekinah, sacred self. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. And be the dove in the darkness. Whenever you embrace the true essence of you and you stop giving a shit what other people think about you or feel about you, you release your free, true self. When you stop judging yourself and others, you release your true, your true and free self. There is no judgment in higher consciousness beings. We do not judge others. Okay. That is no shame. There's no guilt. There's no fear. We embrace each other's differences in unity, compassion, kindness, and love. Embrace your sacred self, whatever that looks like. When you do that, you see the Merkaba on the chest of this dove? When you embrace your true self and you stop hiding behind the low vibrational feelings of fear, guilt, shame, blame, frustration, pain, you fly, you soar, you get moving in your ascension path. And you are being called now to embrace your true sacred self. We all have one. We all have a sacred side. Last deck is going to be the energy deck. Remove all negative energy from this deck. This is a very glossy that it's super sticky at times just because of the amount of gloss on the on the imagery but it's beautiful and i love it remove all negative energy from this deck i call in the angels the archangels the ascendant masters source creator mother sophia spirit animals and guides what is the now moment message for the collective august 2024 Let's split these over here because I'm running out of room. Okay. One second. Angel of love. Love truly is the answer. If you're struggling to determine how you're going to get over a pain, how you're going to get over a shadow, how you're going to deal with trauma, how you're going to move forward when you realize whatever it is that you had to realize and it's heartbreaking. 
Love is the answer. Call in the angel of love. Call in your love dragons. Yes, there are both. And you can get healing in ways that your mind cannot even fathom. And the angel of love can show you ways that you can truly give love to yourself for the situation, other beings in the situation, and you can truly dive into aspects because love opens doors to healing that anger, um, judgment, frustration, accusations do not. Okay. So you want to come from things through a love perspective. Love is the answer. Love is the key. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. So you definitely want to open up that it's lit up here. Um, you can kind of see it. Hopefully this is so, so bright. Hopefully you're able to get a good image of that. So the numbers start at the bottom, root one, um, sacral, two, solar plexus, heart, and then thymus, high heart. You can call in this Archangel Gabriel. You can ask for connection to the gate to Archangel Gabriel. You can play you can play high hertz music for this chakra. You can do any and all of, of these combinations to ask for clarity and clearing. Um, as a people, we we do suffer with speaking our truths. We suffer with closing off our heart and closing ourselves down to energy so that we don't feel. But in order to feel is how you it's how you actually deal. Healing is feeling. Feeling is healing. You cannot heal if you don't fully feel what you're trying to process. So as you go through your shadow work, you have really got to allow yourself the, the give yourself permission to feel it and feel it until it no longer feels like a knife in your back. And then whenever it gets a little bit dull, you start to forgive and you give gratitude for the lessons and then you let it go and you move on down the road. Don't live in the pain. Don't live in the heartache. Don't live in the trauma. Let it go. That's what the collective needs to do right now. There's so much to be forgiven and there's so much that love needs to be a part of in order to open up the doors to truly heal. Envy. Oh, this is a great one. This brings us back to the egoic mind, right? Envy is a low vibrational emotion and envy is, there's no place for envy in our consciousness beings. If you're struggling with envy, you've got shadow work to do. When you do the shadow work over what you're envious of and you realize that you can let that stuff go because it's not the material aspects of anything. It's not anything that's out of you that matters. You could lose every single thing that consider yourself owning home, car, clothes, job, stuff, jewelry, I don't know, the whatever you feel like is important to you. You can lose all of that. None of that makes up the essence of who you are. If you're an envious person, you have shadow work to do and you you are being kept from your soul path and plan because envy holds you close and doesn't want you to learn the truth that envy is a low vibrational, lower timeline of emotion. Set yourself free from envy with love, forgiveness, and gratitude. Rest and rejuvenation. It's showing an image of meditation. Not everyone can meditate, nor do they feel like they need to. And you don't, but I do ask you to to sit in a receptive posture out in nature, grounding. Put your body on the ground. Take your shoes off. Put your feet in the water. Play in the dirt. Plant some flowers. Rest and rejuvenate. When you are feeling tired, especially with all these energies coming in, so many light code activations and upgrades, that's happening to your body, whether you really re realize it or not, you need to rest more, you need to hydrate more, and you need to meditate and ground. These are really, really important aspects of um, integrating the upgrades and the abilities that are coming through to us. And it's really us, our bodies um, transforming in a way that allows us to remember who and what we used to be. So you don't want to fight it. You want to claim it, accept it. 
receive it with a loving heart and give yourself love and compassion so that you give yourself permission to rest and you give yourself permission to recharge. You do not need to give anyone else a an excuse or justify that you need rest or that you need to recharge because we all deserve it. And the world that we live in likes to tell us that we don't, that we have to put everyone else before our own needs. And that just keeps us weak and it keeps us small. Understanding that within you, you have the power to heal yourself by giving yourself love, compassion, forgiveness, feeling through all the pain and letting it go. That is how you climb that ascension ladder. Let's see what the message of the cosmos is. What is the message of the cosmos for the collective in this now moment? It's a it's an amazing powerful time to be alive right now. Many people have not really realized how important it is to be alive in this now moment. But we're truly watching the evolution of not only the planet, but the people and the enlightenment of the people. And it's it's been incredibly, incredibly motivating to see firsthand. Bet on yourself, take chances, reach your dreams. You've got this. And that is where I will leave it today. I hope you've enjoyed this August energy reading. I really want you to see it as a doorway to your own spiritual growth. And I'm gonna take it from the top. Connecting to the divine and asking them to come in in a true receptive mode allows for the radical expansion of your soul. This is your soul growth, right? This is showing you the truth of who you are and there are, there's so much more to you than what you thought your creation story was. It's so much bigger and better, endless opportunities. When the universe is not bound within the, the limits that mankind has given us, we see so much more power and co-creation that is afforded to us when we open up our heart and our minds to align with the soul. Wisdom of the woods when you go out in nature and you ask for messages to come to you, you receive it in a clear way. Drop the judgment, drop the shame and blame. Really communicate with nature because that's what they're there for. Water spirit, it's transformative. It's manifesting your dreams. You can get healing from the water. If you feel like you're lost right now and you're a water sign, get in the water. Understanding that your family is not the family you're born into. It is the soul family, the essence of you, because that is who you truly are. Your body decays. The avatar you're in right now dies. The essence of who you are lives on. That's why death is an illusion. The transformation of body to soul, to energy, back to the energy. That's your soul family. Connect with them. If you're drawn by frequency to beings that are not your birth family, it's usually for a reason. Stag spirit of leadership is remembering to be the leader you deserve. And it starts with you. When you want change, be the change. When you want to be a leader or have a leader that has certain qualities, then you become that leader that has those qualities. Kali Ma, facing your fear. When you realize that fear is just something that keeps you small and takes your power away, face the fear and push through it. That's when you're as your true power has been within you the entire time. And the life force energy that we are called to use to seed new earth is calling you to not be ashamed of your spirituality and don't be ashamed of your passion. Don't be ashamed of using that kundalini life force. Give life to our new planet. Not everyone get it. It's a very small population now. It's less than 20,000 people in five new earth strengths of bridget more move back to wholeness how do you do that well you do that because you reclaim the 
fractals that have been stolen from you gives you your power back and you fully and completely embrace your soul path and your soul contract. No longer do you buy into the matrix belief that you cannot and should not be a sold energy being connecting by frequency and harmony. That's your truth. You are led to find the sacred self. You are led to be the dove in the darkness. And when you stand in your sovereignty and you understand fully that you are not just the, the woman or the man or the child, you are the energy body that has lived thousands and thousands of lives to be in this now moment. You feel a more powerful presence and the inner self is powerful. Your power doesn't come from outside of you. It comes from within the power that feeds through your soul star from the divine feeds your inner core. The angel of love, because love is the powerful perspective that opens doors to healing. It opens doors to speaking your truth and your sovereignty. Whenever you activate and fully activate all your chakras, but specifically this chakra with Archangel Gabriel, you're going to be able to really manifest and speak your truth in a way that it never made sense to you before, but you're going to get help from the divine and the archangels. If you find that envy is something that is troubling you, this is a big push to deal with your shadow work. There is no room for low vibrational and low frequency emotions, which envy is one. So is pride. So is fear, shame, blame, guilt. The entire collective consciousness is way above the level of envy. If you're still stuck with being envious of another person, place, or thing, you have shadow work to do. Remember to rest and rejuvenate. There's a lot of energies coming into the planet right now. And when you feel tired, it's because you really need to rest so that you can integrate the upgrades and, and activations that have been delivered to your physical form and your energy body. All of that takes place with a bit of a, a toll. You're going to get nauseous. You're going to have dizziness. You're not going to know what you want to eat. The main thing you got to do is stay hydrated. Put your feet on the ground, put your body on the ground, meditate, take some Epsom salt baths and connect to nature. That is the best thing you can do to move forward. Remember, bet on yourself and take chances. Reach your dreams. You've got this. I hope you've enjoyed this reading today. And again, if you're interested in a reading with me, send me an email and I'll get back to you on that. Have a great day.